Hello everyone, this is Harris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our No Bay campaign as we continue here for episode 5 from turn 20 in the summer season 198. So last episode we ended with a crash, but we went back and replayed the battle and we came out alright, no problems at all. And Dashu is actually one of the reasons we got through it pretty easily because of his uh, hidden blade, which is a lot of damage or hidden strike. It's 3.8k over 5 seconds, a poison ability, you can use it on troops, you can hit multiple troops within 30 second duration, you can poison all of them, and that's just incredible. And he dueled two of the generals, wiped them out, we actually captured one, actually captured both, I released one, and for the other one I recruited, because we can take them away from the army if we recruit them, and that's just a lot safer approach. Uh, I'm gonna pick this up because he is ready to get tribuchets at rank 6. Probably gonna give him tributaries down the line. Uh, we're not gonna flush this army out. Pretty happy with the situation. Like I said, we had uh, picked up a general here. I believe this is uh, his daughter. Who we can keep, actually. Probably will end up being one of our administrators. Ooh, she also gives Tribuchet Flaming Shot. Can she recruit Tribuchets as a Sentinel is the question. Yeah, but she has plenty of Administrator bonuses, so I think we'll do that. I'll probably just grab this first. She might end up doing some uh, assignment. Nobody got knocked out. We had to sacrifice him in that battle to take out those siege weapons. Uh, he is a minister right now, so we're definitely going to grab this. Just going to grab the bottom line here. Let's make Jolyon stronger. And then a splash damage ability. Light in the dark. Hmm. One use passive. Character salary, not a big deal. It's not that expensive. I think we just go... Oh, two levels for the fight. Okay, that works. The whole army gets improved hit chance, fatigue resistance for his retinue, and then the army gets ability cooldown. The hit chance is really great. I think we might pick up the second level here as well. Capture rate increase when presence. It doesn't have to lead. Well, that's actually quite good. We'll probably go up before we level this up then. Alrighty. Got our generals taken care of. This southern front is probably safe now that we have defeated that army. Over here, he's also too wounded to do anything. He has a location here. Look, now, we have some powerful tools. We do have unification which is still available. Now, he doesn't like us that much. We can easily boost this back up and we should be able to get a unification anytime we want because the pinion can drop to negative 50 and uh, if he's above 150 points with the attitude, which is pretty easily uh, created. So he's easily absorbed anytime we want. He has three armies on the field. I think he has one more general with Furies of Beihai, which we want. We also have Imperial Decree, which we can use our favor, 25 points, to do things like get diplomatic value. So for factions who might be a little bit more stubborn in terms of getting a unification, anything around 24, yeah, 20 below 25, uh, we can probably force. So Sun Tzu being available is a very interesting one. He doesn't have a lot of land. Uh, I actually don't know where he is on the map. I suspect he's somewhere over here. Because he ended up at war with Yan Bai Hu Yuan Shi. Oh, oh my god, he is in a mess. I'm a little worried he will get wiped. That's just a small concern. Okay, so we can see that they own that. They own this as well? Or no? They do. So where is Sun Ce? He's not on this side. That's Wu Jing. That's Yan Bai Hu, Yan Bai Hu. Xing Du is also Yan Bai Hu. North, like, I don't think he's in the south. So that leaves 
I mean, I don't think he's in Jiangxia either. So yeah, I don't know where he is, and I'm kind of worried for him. So worried that I think we'll try to absorb him. That way we get some awesome boosts faction-wide. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's at the top over here. Is he literally down to just the army on the field? Because if that's the case, I gotta do this now. Right, we see this army here. I was hoping to get more characters than just this. I, I was hoping he was doing better. I'm a little worried he's just not. All right, for his sake. Oh my god. He had no land. Wait, is that really the case? Oh, we saved him just in time. He's down to this army. Lu Fan and Zhang Zhao was all he had left? Okay, we get the family. We rescue Sun Ce, we rescue Lady Wu, we rescue Dong Bai. He married Dong Bai? He did. Okay. And that's literally all he has. Okay, we saved him. Ooh, I like that. I don't like this. I mean, on the strategist... I think the game does a good job of, of the mods, does a good job of allowing you to recruit the former or the historical faction unit. So I'm going to trust that we can still get these units. Like, I would love to get... Oh, I guess we don't have the guard passive on the handmade guards. We got different bonuses. The guard passive would have been really broken. All right, let's sail them back to... Ooh, this is all enemy territory. What about our vassal's land? Okay, we can recall our vassal's land. There we go. And we can take a look at Sun Ce, who did not develop any issues with us. Has his father's weapon. Has his father's horse. Have their mercenary captain unit, which unlocks the mercenary unit. So okay, we can recruit using this. Tactical map. Okay. And fun skill tree. King of Chul Reborn. Sure. Gives up some defensive stuff for mass and selection for charges. I think it's not on himself only. Yeah, it's also on the effective range. So this is good for him leading a cavalry charge. He's still... Oh, this is much toned down. Okay, so we don't get the double charge bonus, 25%. That's fair. Three roars, minus 20 morale only. But well, there's other debuffs. Three Furies of the Conqueror, the Splash Damage, Heavenly Strength, Sacrifice Defense and Melee Attack Rate for one big Splash. 22k is huge. Okay, I mean, we're glad to have him. We're glad to have all the items he brings as well. I'm hoping all the kids come to us as well, so Nobe's future wife is also coming. Uh, don't tell Lady Me this. Alright, she doesn't need to be equipped with that. We'll we'll stash this for now. Don't buy the wife, got nothing. We'll probably stash this as well. All right, not bad. Yeah, I didn't even notice that his faction was dying off. Glad we were able to grab it. And this means we can fire some irrelevant generals that we've been keeping. Because we now have a pretty big roster. So Zhang Ya, we're just gonna say goodbye to. He's only ranked three. I don't think we get 1,600 for firing him. So it's not even worth considering there. Everyone else is fine. Everyone's pretty notable. I mean, Wang Shu, he's actually historically pretty relevant being Wang Long's son, just as the political aspect of that. 
even though not exactly a noteworthy general. Ooh, I really do want another Discourse of the State, so I will recruit her for just that, and we probably fire her afterwards. And I guess for similar reasons, we'll take the dragon horn. And I also believe we're missing a horse for the set bonus. Oh, I guess this is with the bow, not with the this blade that we got. It's a different, different set. Yeah, any type of corruption reduction we can pick up definitely be very helpful. Alrighty. Our war continues. Liu Bei is no longer leading. Eh, that's probably an okay thing. We want to get one of these. Both of these are really, really strong. This one's also really... So I guess we pick this up. Yep, and then we go down here and then we go over here. Just because Liu Bei is down doesn't mean we stop. Now, unfortunately, we know the delegates is going to be pretty bad in terms of value, so we might have to fight this. Hmm. I don't really want to. I feel like it's kind of a waste of time. We'll take the casualties. I... Ooh, it's heavy. Our cavalry was in bad shape to begin with. Lady Bian will release. So Cao so Cao pulled his army from over here, all the way back here, haven't been able to heal yet, and uh, bump into us again. Yeah, we have decent recovery. We can improve it by quite a bit. Uh, Dobe's item's not going to change. His item can change. We can do Water Clock here. He is an administrator, so expertise would help. And Sapi does have farms. So let's do that. Yeah, so they're going to be fine. We just boosted the healing by quite a bit, and I don't think that's going to be threatening at all. Um, hmm. We, chase, we, we probably do have to chase them down. They are both on march. Feels like we're getting a lot of... Ooh... I want the horse. That's what completes the set bonus. Uh, we'll just release. We're getting a lot of our Imperial favor back through just beating them up, which is nice. Dipping Tulsa's point would be our next priority. Let's do it. Then we'll get our points back, and then we'll. Keep fighting for more points. Hmm. Probably just boost this and then work our way down. We end up in a forest, which means we probably can't move very far. But if we get a capture, that would be kind of nice. Okay, so in this case, we go here. The way the river runs, we probably take the cattle farm first. I'm not sure if we can take the city. I mean, we can, but it'd just be we will do it without siege weapon. Uh, we could easily, say, take one of the food producing counties and then ask for the other. Uh, still pretty. He needs the food. Makes sense. He has all of this, right? He has this piece as well. So it's still quite a bit of work to get the rest of this down. She's nowhere close to rank 6. And even if she hits rank 6, I don't know if I want to sacrifice Bomb Slingers for Tribuchets. So uh, this whole army is still pretty low in terms of rank. They need work. We don't really make enough to push out another army. They need to be built out because I expect more coming from the north. Now the plan could be that once we, you know, settle the wars to our west and to our south, we could maybe absorb Coron through reunification, um, go to war with them, 
go to war with I mean we're still at war with them. And we basically finish the push north to the Yellow River and then face off against Yuan Shao basically. Hmm. We do have 18k in the bank. I'm just worried if we pump this with a really rich army, which we we can test it out to see how the numbers look. So Zhang Fei got these really expensive horses, really, really expensive. Oh, actually, I know Zhang Fei doesn't need the title for satisfaction purposes, but we could use it for discount purposes. Right, recruitment first. He's going to have a super expensive, super expensive upkeep, so the percentage that he will gain from it for switching over to the right would definitely be very helpful. And we save a bunch through this recruitment process. And just trying out different units. I get, I mean, just for the turtle formation, I think it's worth it. I don't think there's anything better. You can get some way troops, but nothing's really screaming. We must be recruited. That 18k just evaporated. That's with a discount. Without a discount, we can't even finish this army. And then we go here. We went from like almost 7k down to 2.6k, and that's with the income buff. Ah, this is expensive. So, we're going to put it to good use, hopefully. Fatigue rate, that's something that will work really well on, I mean, any of them, because this is for the whole army, but I'm looking for more instinct stats. Not that Guan Yu needs any more help. I mean, Guo just doesn't need it. We'll give it to Zhang Fei. We have no money, but we would like to take a look at who's available. No one that we really need to steal. Obviously, no money for buildings anymore. Maybe we also fire her. Just because, like, what is she really bringing to the party here? It's not like we lack female characters. So she's gone. Oh, we could get some money from her, actually. Uh, we have a new settlement, which means we need a new administrator. This one's going to be pretty heavy peasantry. Who's going to be... None of them focus that much on peasantry, unfortunately. All sources a little bit, maybe. The commerce still applies. We'll, we'll still have industry here. Ah, wait, yeah. The construction cost part hurts so bad. And I don't think the replenishment's gonna kick in because he's on the feet. He's in the army. Um, thirty percent plus construction costs is. It's almost like we shouldn't apply appoint him until after we finish building. Well, none of these are great. And no one's giving us really building discounts. All the good ones already taken. Are there a good sentinel available that we can just pick up? Mm, hardly call you good. Or maybe a court shuffle. Sun Qian probably has a lot of administrator. Oh, to oh, maybe Toying. Wait, why can't I shuffle him? Did I move him this turn? Wait, cause. 
Because of what? Oh, they're on assignment. That's why. Okay. But we can still see their bonus for... Administrator. Let's see. 30%. Oh, he also has a plus 30% construction cost. It's just from low expertise. So he's not better than Wei Yan. If we rescue his expertise stats somehow, we can avoid the situation. It's from the weapon. Okay, I mean, that's fine. There we go. Now he becomes an excellent choice here. Yeah. You get a promotion, you lose your weapon. You win some, you lose some. We can give the weapon... Wenping is using Dragon's Roar, which I think goes to Lui Bu's daughter. So we'll probably swap this over, and then we'll keep that benched and see what happens. He, his set bonus is with his dad's weapon. Obviously his dad's not dead yet. Oh, we did pick up the Gold Statue of Confucius, which is Zhe Rong's uh, starting gold weapon. It's not really that great. We're not going to really use it on any of the faction leader characters, but 10 points of instinct is not bad. Yeah, oh, maybe we'll just use this as your loot. You you won this. Relationship is poor with one ping, so we'll probably split... We'll probably split both of them out of this army. Mm -hmm. We don't want double strategists. That was a very temporary army anyways. Alrighty, so that should be good. We should have enough money for a school, which we're spamming everywhere. That's going away. Well, we're going to put our... Yeah, we're going to keep this. We're going to put our tax collection here. Oh, maybe we don't need this. It's only 25% extra peasantry. It's better if we put the state workshop down. Alright, now we're good. Let's continue. Wasn't able to go... He's still not replenishing. He's still in our territory. This is our opportunity to wipe out Cao Cao. He has three regions left, and I think this is only stack. Oh, he... Dan Wei stack might have gone back and healed? Maybe. That's actually perfect. He's an ally. He's an ally of Korong. That's the only not perfect part. That gives Guanyu's army something to do. Okay, pretty peaceful turn. A lot of assignments open, but that's fine. Koron didn't get dragged into this fight. That is good news. So we can actually take Luan. Right, that's Guanyu's job now. They don't need the mustering bonus. Keep moving. Right, they'll still heal up. And we'll just crash into Lun, chase after Yuan Tan's army. That's a weird situation. Oh, clicking on enemy's army in, I guess, technically foreign territory also lags? Uh, we let him lead? He has the right skills. I guess we don't have to rush over here, but I want to go down here. So I guess we still pick that up. He's back on the field. Uh, none of them are great commanding officers, but this is fine. Okay, so we don't have enough movement to breach any of the settlements anyways. We'll finish him off if we can. Chased him back into his territory. Hmm. Alright, we'll chase him this way. This is a free take. Now the question is, do we seek this peace? Oh, 
熊熊烈火，今日又得宠。Back to ninety nine. Yes, Huang. So he kept. So Sun Sun never got the officers. Well, technically, yeah, we uh we got the seal from him. He, so he got the seal, but Sun Sun didn't get the officers. You be all ma. Thirty nine. Okay. So I feel like we can get what we came for, which is this extra farm. Just to limit his growth, because he's run out of food, so he can't really level up his uh, settlements that much. Ah, uh, 3.9. We can... Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Receive means we get, I believe, right? Both remain the proposals faction, so... Negative 4. Point. Okay, so I don't want your farm. You can keep it. I want your daughter. To marry my son. Vassalize. I feel like he's going to get us in a lot of trouble by vassalizing him. I don't think that's a good idea. Doesn't have any items for us. He has plenty of food, apparently. That one farmland sustaining him quite well. I guess we are just going to be financially paid off for this. I think the reason why we're... Oh, he has a lot of cash on hand. Okay. We're gonna get about 14k from this war. We get a wife for our son and uh, we get the peace. Everyone hates us for this. That's fine, actually. He's the enemy of the hunt. Mm. 34 points across the board. Uh, Gun Zan's lost a little hurtful. I don't see Koro on this list. Maybe it keeps going on the bottom. We just can't see it. I mean, most of the map's ready at war with us. It's not really going to be that different. Also, the faction we like to wipe. Okay, absorbing Liu Yao feels. Actually, I don't know how much land Liu. Oh, he has this. Okay, he has Poi out. Ma Teng's just too far. Shang Yong's too far. Yuan's also too far, but that's one way to enter Shu. Just pop, absorb you. Hong in the north. Eventually, we get close. People who are friendly. In the meantime, I hope he can offer some resistance and uh, fight Yuan Shao for us. Mm, I don't want to use it on Koron just yet. Wu Jing, maybe. Is he available? 52. Uh, I feel like that's going to eventually end up in a war. Your husband now. What do I want him to pick up, though? Campaign. Okay, that, that's actually pretty important. Lose battle running speed for cavalry? That kind of sucks, but I guess it's for heavy cavalry, you get extra armor, extra charge bonus. Charge bonus does make up for it, so when they charge, they get that speed back. This is just for himself. Yeah, it's not that worth it. Let's just go across. Unhappy? He had the... No, he didn't have a grudge. He just have too much rank. Banishment's hurting him. Death of a friend. Who died? Rivalry within faction. Rivalry with... Who are you rivals with? Nemesis with a new girl. That's why he suddenly dipped so much. Okay. 
I'm gonna give you a book, teaches you how to respect your dad, and that will make you very happy. Uh, we actually, don't we have, um, do we not have negotiation letters? Uh, diplomatic papers. Sounds, sounds very similar, but it's not exactly the same. I don't have a position for him. So the title it is? He will eventually... Will he ever be administrator? Maybe? Mm, more likely in a court position. He doesn't have flaming shot available. Um, hard to see him on the court. It's not lack. It's not desire. It's mostly just the rivalry. All right, we'll do war turn right now just to keep him afloat. Don't want him to turn coat on us. And the rivalry is making this difficult too. They just despise each other. She's rivals with multiple people. Sun Ce and Lu Su. Ooh, this was a tough marriage. She even gets font. She gets everything that. Oh, she's maimed. She gets everything pretty much that we could imagine in terms of positive value, and uh, she can actually end up being an administrator. So I can, you know, give her one of the administrator traits, plan her out for one of the administrator positions in the future. Mm, yeah, people not getting along, getting people from two rivaling factions. That's a huge ammo boost, which is nice. Alright, we have some cash. Let's use it. We haven't got to build in a while. That's not what we want. Hmm. We are out of sentinels. Alright, we'll continue to level up Chandal to collect taxes. So should get on the field. Let's see, we can do... It's not really great here, but we might not have a better choice. Oh, Pengcheng, probably not going to go for heavy income, but we're still going to build that. Super efficient. Get a lot more units. I don't think it's that super necessary. Okay, Simon wise, that got forest fired during the faction council event. Gotta fix those. Ah, someone's ready here. The rest of the assignments, not sure if we're going to use them. Those armies all moved. He's not moving. 
We're going to swap some of these guys out. Um, he can go back and do some assignments. I, I actually do want Sun Tzu out here. You get the weapon, you get the gold statue, but we're swapping you out. Huh. The army they had is actually pretty good. Dombai gets along, family boost, Dashu cools. So, okay, alright, they were just basically swapping this group. But we're out of money. Okay, so you're just gonna get recalled too. Mercenary units, which we can easily recruit. We could also use someone like Liao Hua, actually. Instead of Lady Wu. Is Lady Wu... Did the mod make her special? I mean, she's MTU as well. So maybe she is quite special. Alright, we'll use her. We'll set up that army once we have cash. Alright, everyone has moved. That's pretty much everything we can do. Tosal's not gonna get the piece that Renshu got. We're gonna wipe him out, even though we will lose Impure Intrigue along the way. We can recover pretty easily. He hurt us! We're, we're gonna chase him right after and then go over here. There might be a stack here, but assuming they don't have Siege Weapon, this should be safe and hold. And now that we are pieced out, we are sure the other can pull back up over here and, you know, join the fight. Guessing enemy army moved over here. Our camera just kind of flew over. Well, you should be fine either way. It's a very that's our best army right now. So it's gonna come to age in our faction, okay. Oh, we get the elephant? We do! Excellent. Let's see... Chase? Benshaw's army is here. Hmm... I think they'll come and attack Liu Bei. I hope. Because we're gonna make... We're, we're driving for the war here. We want to take some land. So instead of going to help Liu Bei, we can help defend over here. Alright, we go here. And they go for Liu Bei, then we can turn this way. So I know our brother came of age, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with mom. Sort of the Sun Tzu and family army. Ooh, 
we can put Lady True with uh, Sun, 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 Sun Quan and be like, you know, the oppressed and the oppressor army. Heaven sent messenger. Fire damage, fire resistance, charge. It's a weird ability. Infinite range. Okay, they have a story base behind it. I get it now. Um, he has rank six, so we should probably get that. Unless he's just gonna stay potential faction wide boost. Uh, probably not. I mean, I don't even know if he's getting out on the field. Competition for strategists is fierce. Alright, we got the Simons here. 3k. They are just going to stay defensive here. We have all the armies we want moved. No change here. I mean, who would we even want to absorb at this point? Aside from Coral. Which, at this point, I don't want to absorb him. Wu Jing, but he's not, he's not cooperating. Some of these minor ones down here, eventually, we can get Danyang, which is nice. But that would be after we take out Zorong, which means after we give them army, which would take some savings to do. Let's all run. So we take the farm, we chase him back to Intron. If they come attack us, we can go help over Intron as well. Okay, now we just chase, so Lobe's alone. Intron might be a pretty tough fight. I might expect two stacks, but this army is also pretty solid. We should be okay. Yeah, we're just bleeding land. Hunt High Empire is just bleeding land down south. And I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't think it really impacts us. Like the trade partner without the T, we haven't really used the T, so we don't really lose anything there. Another sun. Gave us a bow. Thank you. I assume we're super safe delegating this. Okay, good. But there's like barely any troops, not gonna really fight that. Yep, two stacks of in front. Can't chase them down. They could go either way. They would do more damage on this side. If we sit here in an ambush, maybe we catch her. Alright, we get a wipe out of faction here. This we will fight because there's other enemies around. And we definitely don't want to take the delegate value here. And we get to check out all the cool new units we bought. 18k worth of units. On just these two guys. I mean, with this setup, I think they're strong enough to, like, charge into the north once we clear everything. Um, this might be the easier gate. They do have a siege weapon, but usually with the AI factions, they typically put them in the back. Wait, can they still fire in this mode? You usually have to mix, yeah, to still. We don't, we don't expect anyone charging out, so I guess we'll just put them out in the front like that. 
Their shield would still apply, so good defensive front line as well. Flexible. Um, we just put put these off to the side, and then they can turtle up and start moving in if we want to do something like that. Then before we hop into the heat of the battle, let's take a look at the units. These are the white feathered spearmen. I mean, anytime with these mods, they basically take pre-existing assets and then like just mesh them up together, and they make some new ones like you know the white feather cap, but like this shield is probably from one of the militia tier units, I think. Maybe axe band or something small. Oh, actually, it might be the buckler from the cavalry unit, like uh, tiger and leopard, something like that. Basically, they take existing game assets and just you know create new units, which is nice. Storm Charger. And then we have... These are E-Archers, pretty standard. New First Ascent Sword Guards. Don't they use a spear? Wait, the front line uses a spear, but the back line uses... Ooh, that's an interesting combination. So there's like designated front line guys who does not have a bow. That's interesting game design. I, I like that. Uh, those are probably just like heavy spear guards. Yeah, we, we checked out everything. Let's go. Pound them. Towers first. Uh, I'm guessing the siege weapon somewhere in the back. We're gonna ignore that. Start moving up because you got turtle anyway, so you are safe. Oh no, only 25%? 160. Wait, how many percent do we get from this? 100%. 25% is range resistance? Why do we need resistance if we already have 100% range block chance? I'm confused by that. And how are we so accurate? Oh, anyone want to fight? Oh my god, someone's insane to fight me. Oh, Manchong? It's the gold weapon that's giving him confidence. It's not Fong. It's my he's dad. I don't even think I should use the sacrificer on my own health to do damage because he's dead already. Yep, that's that's it. Ah, we finally hit the tower, it's on fire. Alright, now we just soften that up. Who did they Is there a siege weapon here? Ah, they hit us. I was not paying attention. They actually also hit one of our tribuches. Are they still firing? They're moving around. I'll go fix that problem. Don't want to charge into that spear directly, so we kind of offset that real quick. We might have just friendly fired ourselves. Now. Still one here, can't let that survive. Just let us destroy this. There we go. They're starting to charge out. Okay, pull the turtle back. Set up a defensive line. Alright, 
cool animation on this. I uh, probably should have aimed on this side, actually. I, I thought it was circular, but it's more of like a, a wave going out. Wait, they have one more? No, 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 no. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? There we go. Smartphone versus Guojia. That's actually not an unfair fight, to be honest. Guojia, what do you think? You have Wisdom the River? That's a little unfair. Alright, Stormbreaker, show us what you got. They are pulley heavy, yep, so they are moving pretty slowly, but that's fine. Chase one each, everyone else pick up a uh, range unit. Stop firing. Switch new target right here. Never mind, army loss got it. He's unbreakable? That's pretty rare with the mod. That just means he dies. There we go. We still took a chunk of damage because I forgot they were positioned well. But aside from that, not too bad. I would say better than delegate values. Okay, multiple items drop. We get Manchol. Love to have him. Hopefully he has good administrator traits, which kind of would make sense historically. Okay. Actuary. <laughs> Not bad. So we'll go we'll go for these two. 80% chance of capturing enemy officers post battle. I mean, it's rare that we have a gold piece, we're going to give it to him. Alright, what do we want on Guan Yu? Discounted units for the own army. Yeah, that's actually pretty big. Replenishment when coming. Okay, we're gonna go up here. We have plenty of food. I don't really see a reason there. Even the retinue increase is not really that tempting.
This is gonna be commerce heavy. So Lu Su maybe. Oh, Zhang Zhao. Uh, yeah, Zhang Zhao takes it. He's also higher rank, so uh, satisfaction is also an issue. Uh, do we have a Sentinel that can help increase the speed? Not really. Okay, we'll boost the commerce here. Maybe not him, because he doesn't need levels. Because I, I don't really plan on using him. Where's the simple 75%? There we go. He ran away. Okay, so he didn't go back here, he went back here. This is going to be hard to defend until we get this leveled up. So we set the trap, we pushed over here, Cao Cao's still retreating and also trying to pick up reinforcement there. We had to go back and defend here. I think it's actually time to absorb Coral. 95 points will drop to 70. One extra unit of Fury Bay High. I mean, it's not a big deal. He's selling a lot of food. That part is a little bit disturbing. Then we have to flush out some generals. Maybe we wait till next turn. Let's wait till next turn, because once we pick up Luan, we might as well pick up this whole chunk, right? There's no point to keep him around. Oh, they're counterattacking. Oh, they're just sieging to stop the replenishment, but the, we didn't get that injured. So he comes out of nowhere. So we pick up Coral, and then we pick up his army, and then we wipe that out with two armies, and then we just disband afterwards. They moved on, so we probably have to chase. We have the movement. Dufeng actually moves pretty far. That's a weird setup, actually. They didn't take the fight, they just want to siege. Ooh, a burn officer, but most likely a spy. A second burn officer who's not a spy. Stubborn gives unbreakable steel. Okay, so that's probably what happened in that previous fight. Uh, sometime mods change. Uh, so he's the burn officer. Probably make a pretty excellent administrator down the line as well. Speed up the build in Chen. Uh, it's probably okay. We can fatigue his army, which probably get involved in the fight. Let's mess with him. I don't know where this army is, but I would like to sabotage it. Ooh. I mean, this army we can just delegate. This is a pretty awkward army with this setup. I'm going to delegate this. We're going to be on friendly territory. They're quite far from home. And when we trade pretty even, we are going to come out pretty nice here. I'll take you. You also weaken them.
He hit rank 6, so we should have better cavalry units available to us if we want to make the swap. But their job is done. We just need to weaken them enough so they can't touch any of our... And then we actually should come back here and help Liu Bei. And we'll heal along the way. So that's perfect. We finish this. This is just the delegate. Well, some duels right here. It's kind of weird. Now we take the Shandong Peninsula. Perfect. And then we grab his armies. Can you really not reach? Wait, Chengpu is here. He's on march. So what we're going to do is this. Set them as reinforcement, disband all the infantry, and then basically we get cavalry movement speed on the map from the three generals, and then we'll just launch them. Good. No fancy units either. And then we just wipe them out here. Uh, release. We will keep him. Loyal and humble. Very nice combination there. Okay, probably keeping him as well. Also a bandit with poison wally. Uh let's see. Zhang Song, the guy who gave Liu Bei the map, should work for Liu Zhang, who was the one who was, I mean, disfigured, I don't know, Quisling? Not familiar with this term, but he was said to be very short, pretty ugly, was sent as an envoy to Cao Cao from Liu Zhang. Cao Cao mistreated him because of his look, so he felt slighted. He went to go approach Liu Bei himself, suggested to Liu Zhang that Liu Bei would be perfect to come in and help and then gifted the map of the defense of the Yi province over to Liu Bei. But then his brother discovered it, reported him, and his brother got him killed. Disloyal goes, you know, because he was disloyal to Liu Zhang. But he's loyal, uh, I don't know. That trait sticks, so now he's disloyal to us. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, I like Coral's generals, actually. Most of them are pretty good. I want to get over here, so let's start over this. I'm not sure he's going to see the field anytime soon, but I'm probably going to stash a bunch of them. Are you the wife? You're not. Then I guess you're fired. We have too many strategists. We don't need a 50 year old. He's gone. Um... Right. He died. Exactly, he died. He, he's not supposed to be alive at this point. Um, let's see. We do... We do have his brothers. I guess we could keep him. I wouldn't keep any of his units. Ah, so you another case of the cutting situ the disloyal situation, so I think, I know, getting rid of, I mean, we don't want anyone else to get them, so, I'm gonna keep you, maybe do a Simon character with a commander, then you're gone, uh, we'll just release, 
We have a few rivalry situation causing some uh, strain, so we can't really do banish here. These two we're not going to recall yet because they might end up being administrators. Uh, there is a little bit of commerce. All sources. Okay, so we'll put him here. Beihai is pretty much just peasantry. Oh my gosh, she's excellent. We need to find her a really good place. We still have... No, that's it. We have eight positions left. Okay, so you guys didn't become administrators, but most likely uh, maybe assignment characters, because we, we need those construction. Okay, so those are vigilantes. This goes away. Wonder... We can't recruit he's on March. We're probably just going to recall him. I don't need him on the field here. Oh, we do. We need to chase him down. Longxiu, pretty good character as well. Seven Talents of Jian. Chen Gong? I guess he had Chen Gong in the past. Alright, we thin out the army a little bit to save costs. We don't need too many men to chase after them. There we go. I think we get we're working towards the level four state workshop first. We do have a lot of food, but even then, do we sell food? Definitely converting that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Shame on you for not building schools as a Confucian descendant. Eh, I don't think we need that, nor do we need this. I'm going to allow them to sell food just because how much excess food we have doesn't make sense for us to downgrade them. This we need to downgrade. There's no need this to be a tall build. Go back to city build. So they chase after that. We have 16k cash. Our, our economy just boomed because we just picked up a lot more land. And once we get those prestige points built in those sub counties, we're going to hit king. So we're almost king. Okay, so we got this fight here. We had to fight both. Not really a problem. Uh, this is not us losing, right? It's just us not fighting or... Yeah, okay. We'll use this as our save. We'll come back and fight this battle at the start of next episode, and then we're probably wiping out Tall Tall, assuming this goes well without any setbacks. They're going to go back and perhaps potentially help over here. We'll get there in three turns. The Obey clears this out. Uh, probably have to heal a turn. Chase two turns for this fight. They might be coming back to nothing. So maybe they don't come back anymore, and maybe focus on Zanba, who we shouldn't have a deal with anymore, so we can definitely go to war with him and take this, and then we would have this whole region. She needs to hit rank 6. This is only level 3, so we, yeah. So maybe they heal up over here, and then we just go for them. Guan Yu is going north. We're going to wipe out Yuan Tan. That should be his last territory. And then we'll, we'll go to war with Gongsun, uh, uh, Yuan Shao. And then we'll probably absorb Gongsun Zan, who looks like he's not doing so hot, right? He just lost a chunk here, but that would be an easy absorb. Uh, we'll be king long before then. Who would be the other challengers? Would Duchy of Zhou actually get one? 
or is it going to be just a bunch of factions in the south? Or maybe out west. We'll see who the other emperors are. We'll see that pull in the next episode. So things are moving pretty fast. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.